We're continuing with our Mizmorim of Kabbalat Shabbat, and we're on now to Mizmor Tzadik Bet, Mizmor Shir, Shir Liyom HaShabbat. Uh, let's read it together. Mizmor Shir Liyom HaShabbat, Tov Lodot Ba'ashem, Ulezamer Lishimcha Liyon, Ve'agi Baboker Chastecha, Ve'monatcha Ve'lelot. Alei Yasser Ve'lei Naval, Alei Higayon Bechinor, Ki Yismachtani Yashem Befalacha, Ve'masei Yedach Haranim. Ma Gadlu Ma'asach HaShem, Ma'odam Kum Achshvotecha, Ish Bar Lo Yedach Sir, Lo Yavin Atzot, Befro Chishayim, Kmo Esa, Ve'yatsitu Kol Palei Aven, השמידה מדי עד ועתה מרום לעולם השם, כי הנה יבך השם, כי הנה אויבך יורדנו. התפרדו כל פעלי אבן, ותרים קרעים קרעים קרעים, בלוטי פשן מענן, ותביט עיני בשורי פקעים עלה מרעים, תשמע נאוזי. צדיק את עמי יפרח כרס ולבנון, יזכה שתולים בבית השם, בחצרות אלוקינו יפריחו, עוד ינבון בשיבה, תשעינים ורעננים יהיו, ואגיד כי ישר השם צורי ולא עוולה תבוא. So when we read this מזמור, uh, for me, the first thing that jumps out to me is actually the first person. The idea that it's individual, it's personal. The person's calling out to God, he's speaking from himself, not as an individual. Uh, that's the first thing that always jumps out to me at this, in this Mizmor. And the question is really why? What makes this Mizmor so different uh, than so many others? Uh, and so for that, we're going to break down the Mizmor and we'll see a little bit better what exactly is going on. So we begin with an introduction, Mizmor Shir Liyom HaShabbat, um, and then we continue um, with Tov Lo Dod L'Hashem Ulo Zamer L'Shimcha Elyon, right? We, begin, we continue with thanksgiving and praise to God, um, and we're supposed to sing God's praises both in the morning and the evening, and now when we bring in musical instruments. And why are we doing this? Kis Machtani Hashem B'Falacha V'Masei Yedach right? We're glad with, we're happy because of God's actions and we, and we sing out because of what God does in the world. And we continue and we talk about right? How great are your actions in this world, God? And we discuss basically God's eternal great, greatness as contrasted to wicked people's eventual end, right? The biggest problem that generally people have um, in this world and understanding God's justice is this idea of wicked people and how they seem right right it seems to be that these people that these wicked people are growing like rest they're everywhere and they're doing well and they're flourishing um, but we affirm basically that God will eventually um, give them what's due to them and then we continue by talking about the success of the righteous, of the tzaddik, right? Um, and we talk about the tzaddik katamayifrach, as opposed to in pasukcha, as opposed to in pasukcha, um, bifroch evildoers who are, you know, flourishing like grass. Um, in pasuk gimel, we have the tzaddik who's going to flourish like a tamar. A tamar is a date palm, and it's very tall, as opposed to grass, which might grow easily and very quickly. Uh, it's very easy to cut down and to break down as opposed to the tzaddik, the tamar, who will stand tall and strong like a palm tree. Uh, and then we finish and we end with praising God. Now our praise to God here is We say that God is straight, that He's our rock, and that there's nothing deficient. There's nothing, there's nothing, God is basically perfect. He's not missing anything. Uh, this mizmor has four different parts, and what we see is in the center, we have we compare God's greatness to the wicked who are fleeting as God is eternal and we also then go into the idea of the tzaddik who is righteous and will succeed and then we begin and we end with praise and our praise of God is about his work and his nature in the world and how he works with the world um, and really that's what this mizmor is all about the for many people one of the biggest problems that they have with seeing God in this world and with being able to praise God or saying that God is perfect or God is good is the idea that we keep seeing the world to our eyes there's a lot of bad people who seem to be flourishing and there's a lot of wrong things that seem to be that seem to be happening and it's one of the biggest challenges to our Muna, to our faith in God to be able to say to sing God's praise in the morning to talk about his chased and his just and his righteousness to us um, in the morning and in the evening to say that God is faithful to us and God is steadfast and God is with us. 
Um, it's very difficult to say that in the night, right? The night is a dark time. The night is a time that we don't really see God, that we're scared. And we're scared because there's evil around us. Um, and that's what this Mizmor is coming to tell us. This Mizmor is coming to tell us that, and this is, I think, why it's in first person also, because each person has to affirm this for themselves, that even though they see um, all this horrible stuff around them sometimes, and they seem to see evil people um, flourishing, um, in the end, tzadika tamayifrach. In the end, God will adjust it, and God will adjust... Um, adjust the scales and God will return everything. God deals in justice in the world. Um, and the wicked people, they'll be dealt with and the righteous people, they will flourish. Um, and I think that that's also why this is called Mizmor Shir Liyom Shabbat. Why Shabbat specifically? Again, Shabbat is the time that we affirm our faith in God and we affirm the idea not only that God created that world, but God is still involved in the world. And even though the biggest obstacle to us on seeing that involvement is you know, bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people by us calling out and affirming that we believe that in the end there will be justice and in the end God does deal justly in the world um, that's basically what we do every Shabbat um, and so this is why I think that this is Mizmor Shabbat